Hello everyone, Shabik here from Mani Online and today in this video we are going to review the Pixel Experience Plus ROM for Redmi Note 7. So without any further delays, let's begin. So in the Pixel Experience Plus ROM we get the added support of face unlock which we didn't used to see in other custom ROMs. Let me just show you that was real quick and uh, let's just jump into the settings. Let me just decrease the brightness. Yeah that's good. And now let's just go to the settings and uh, quickly show you the about phone and in about phone let me just show you, quickly show you the android version and uh, over here if we keep on tapping this is it runs on android 10 uh, and let's just go back we have the latest security patch level also the google play system update is also updated and new and as you can see over here this is the pixel experience plus rom for redmi note 7 and that this is an official rom now what is the difference between the pixel plus experience uh, pixel experience plus and pixel experience rom so the, the difference between these two rom is that pixel experience plus rom has the more options for customizations well in pixel experience rom we don't get that which we get in pixel experience plus let me just show you what's the actual difference if we go to the system and in this we get the option to customize the actions for the buttons uh, how you want your power menu what are what are the things you want in your power menu you can customize this whole thing also if you want you can customize the no the how to end the call and if you do a long press it will trigger the torch and also some added no you can uh, assign some function to the volume buttons also so that's quite a lot of you know uh, feature uh, which people generally don't expect in pixel experience rom and if we go to the system navigation this is how we get options uh, the two uh, the two button navigation the three button navigation and also the gesture navigation i prefer the gesture one and it it looks good and it's also quite easy to use so yeah let's just go back quickly and in the advanced as you can see we also get the option of uh, the inbuilt OTA system that's really cool we don't get this feature in a lot of the ROMs but yes Pixel Experience Plus provides this feature as of now there is no new update from the developers so yeah let's just go back and in developer options I'll show you this this is very important why people use pixel experience rom the performance the performance is very balanced actually and everything is very responsive you have no problems nothing no bugs this is a bug free rom and i've been using this uh past one week i faced no issues in this rom everything works flawless and now let me just show quickly show you the what all settings are here uh, if we go to this nothing new in this everything remains the same also and one added thing in this is the 4G VoLTE works fine also the uh, Wi-Fi calling option is working I've tested it and it works great no issues in that and uh, yeah let's just go back uh, let me show you the connected devices nothing new in this it looks the same and uh, no issues with the bluetooth it works fine and let's just go to the battery yeah so coming to the battery part uh, i'm getting um, much more battery backup when compared to miy 11 or miy 12 in this pixel experience rom so that's really good i'm enjoying it and also it supports fast charging and also if you charge your phone via the usb type c it shows charging rapidly so fast charging is supported which was not supported in the previous updates and now it's working fine there are no issues and the battery is charging real fast and yeah that's good uh, if you, uh, let me just show you the demo of the fast charging thing 
I'll plug the I'll plug the charger over here. And it has started charging. Let me just lock the screen. As you can see. Charging rapidly. So that that's quite good. And uh, yeah, let's just go back. So the battery performance I've been getting good. There are no issues with the battery performance also. And if we go to display, you have the feature of live display, which is not there in the Pixel Experience ROM. And if we go to advanced, there are there is the option of styles and wallpapers. So over here, you can customize your, how your uh, icons in the quick settings and the notification panel should look like. And I'll keep the current wallpaper. And if you, as you can see, if you go like this. You can customize the whole thing let's just swipe over here you can customize the font you can customize the icons and uh, the color and we get a and the shape of the icons how they should appear also and if you go to custom you can build one of your own preset of this uh, customization thing so i'm totally cool with this one and i'll just go back and yeah. and wallpapers over here let me just show you if we go over here we get this wallpapers the pixel wallpapers also these are the options in wallpapers the Pikachu wallpaper the it's quite popular but I generally prefer this doodle one which I'm having right now uh, let's just go back and yeah nothing and all the regular you know like uh, options and double tap to w okay this is something new that i should tell you guys about is the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep in pixel ex in pixel experience rom we get the option of double tap to wake but this is new in pixel experience plus rom that is double tap to sleep so in double tap to sleep what we have to do is if we double tap on the status bar quickly see as you can see the device is locked so that's a good feature and uh, yeah let's just go back and uh, go to the sound option also we can uh, custom customize this option also how about the starting and the ramp up time in increasing ring volume and the uh, the sound panel looks like this and if you tap over here you, you hear you get the whole settings for each like for each and every sound uh, oh sorry let's just go back to this and in advanced as you can see we get the option of the live caption so live caption is basically whatever media you see and if you want captions for it uh, it will show the captions but yeah it supports till now only english language so if you're watching any content and you know, if you come across any content which is in english it will show you the captions over here somewhere in the middle of the screen i have tried it and it works good no issues in that so let's just go back and yeah you get a couple of options to customize you know for the dial pad don't screen unlocking locking unlocking sounds also so we get this feature of the me sound enhancer for uh, in increased performance uh, for using plugged earphones or headphones and this feature is present in pixel experience plus rom not it's not there in the pixel experience rom so that's something good and in security now we get the option of face unlock so that's good and if you go to advanced you will get some options uh, now let's just go to accessibility it has one or two features which won't make that difference in our daily life usage and let's just go to the digital well-being and digital well-being works great no issues in this and also when we flash this rom we need not to separately flash the g apps and we get a built-in google camera this is a very nice feature i liked it and the google camera works perfect and also in this we get the option of the playground which we didn't used to get using the gcam in other custom roms so if we go to the playground we see 
couple will be see couple in couple of uh, stickers and play emojis then if you tap over here i will choose this one as you can see you can drag them anywhere and it works very good i've tried it and it it's very good and also the camera performance has been amazing there are no issues in the camera performance also the video recording supports 4k 30 fps yeah and uh, 1080p 60 fps is supported and uh, the portrait mo mode looks good and works great no issues in that and the night sight also works perfect so this is the ideal g cam you need not to install different g cam app manually and the banking apps works perfect there are no issues previously i was using the uh, miui 12 helas rom and in that the google pay wasn't working and but phone pay was working but in this the google pay, every banking app works there are no issues with it i have tried a few transaction and they have been working great there are no issues in this and if we tap on, and as i believe you can see this this doodles they are shifting a bit and this this is a kind of new feature in the pixel experience plus rom and uh, it uses your print the gyroscope sensor yes as you can see it's move wherever you tilt your if you tilt your phone towards right side this doodles will come towards your right side so that's a good and a new, it looks something new mode works fine and in the dark mode a dark mode the ambient ambient display the always on display also works we just enable and show it to you and if we keep it like this so yeah this is how it looks but uh, i recommend not to you uh, so we'll enable the always on display why because it's for the amoled screens and in lcd screens there are chances that it might uh, damage your screen and also uh, it will consume a lot of battery but i have uh, enabled the ambient display so whenever you wave your hand over the phone it works perfect uh, there are no issues in the dark mode and it has the option of scheduling the and uh, dark mode that is from sunrise to sunset uh, this option we don't get in the pixel experience rom and uh, i'll turn off the dark mode yeah so this is it my experience about this pixel experience plus rom for redmi note 7 if you found this video helpful do smash the like button and if you're new to our channel do also press the subscribe button thanks for watching and i hope you to see in my next one